A tough endurance test. It's part of a study being carried out by Dita Like. He's looking at how risk factors like a sedentary lifestyle and obesity impact physical fitness. Eight seconds left. Seven, then it'll be two minutes. Three, two, one. Great! Two minutes. That's something the sports physician hasn't seen often. He's tested more than 20,000 boys and girls between the ages of 6 and 25. We've observed that the target group of people who don't do sports or don't exercise regularly generally don't really push their bodies to the limit. That makes it very tough to acquire hard data. To acquire unbiased information about the entire population, the researchers have examined people from a cross-section of society. Test subjects come from schools, companies and among job seekers. The researchers measure body fat, skin fold thickness and the risk for obesity. At least the sports professionals like him in the comparison group do well. Participants have to answer a series of questions. Do they smoke or drink? How often do they exercise? The researchers found that risk factors rise from the age of 16 upwards. Only a fourth of the young adults they surveyed lead healthy lifestyles and education levels seem to play a crucial role in health consciousness. This athlete has the muscle power as well as stamina that other people his age often lack. After they begin working, young adults usually have little time for sports, and before long, their fitness level falls significantly. It doesn't matter which risk factor we're talking about. As soon as one appears, you have to reckon with a significant loss of fitness. And each additional risk factor leads to a further decline in performance. This cap, which can measure brain waves, shows which regions are active in the brain at any given moment. Stefan Schneider wants to use it to find out whether exercise can improve mental fitness as well. The researcher tested the hypothesis with a third grade class. On the first day, the kids began their day at school with sports. Later, they took a test. On another day, they only took the test and performed much worse. That's because exercise reduces stress in brain regions involved in thought. It's very decisive that the areas of the brain associated with strong cognitive function are simply slowed down through exercise. Sports make demands on very specific areas in the brain, primarily the motor cortex. In the motor cortex, there's a change in activity, which means that activity is not taking place in other areas, and so they can simply rest and relax. So sports can contribute in a big way not only to physical fitness but to mental health as well. And that at any age, as studies on marathon runners have shown. Even a few years of regular training can dramatically improve mental and physical fitness levels among older people. And the good news is that even a bit of exercise is better than none. The human body, it seems, reacts positively to nearly any kind of physical activity. And it's never too late to start.